Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Again, I'm Sean, and today we're gonna take a quick look at using BitFocus Companion in your Elgato Stream Deck with your ATEM Mini series of switchers, uh, your HyperDeck, and some things that it can do uh, with the local computer that it's connected to. Um, mine is actually connected to a Raspberry Pi 4. So let's, uh, let's jump right into it here. So what you're looking at now is my computer um, that I'm connected to the Raspberry Pi and you're actually looking at the uh, Stream Deck itself. So you can uh, see how it changes uh, as we click through things here. So the first thing I want to point out is the top button here, uh, page one, button one. Uh, and it is set to show me the currently loaded clip on my HyperDeck and the current timecode. So right now I'm looking at clip two that starts at uh, three minutes and 39 seconds on timecode. And we can do this by um, up here in the text area. Um, I've got clip colon and then a variable to show me the HyperDeck clip ID and then the HyperDeck timecode. So this is uh, three minutes, 39 seconds. That is exactly what the HyperDeck shows on its display screen right now. So there are a number of things that we can do. So let's, uh, let's actually take a look at a blank button here. And we'll set this to a regular button type. Now you can come up here in the text and you can type dollar sign in open parentheses. And then this will give you a list of what's available and you see you have internal you can do things like uh, show the IP address of the device that you're using so if you wanted to set up a configuration screen in uh, your stream deck when you show up somewhere if you need to access the web page uh, there's your IP So let's take a look at some of the other things that we can do here. Uh, you can show uh, date and time, or time if you want. Um, any errors with instances. So you have five instances that are okay. So if you know how many instances you have connected, uh, this will tell you how many are good. You can see here uh, your ISO, you can uh, pick the long or short names of uh, particular inputs. You have source ID 1000 with the long name or the short name. Um, okay, so 1000 is uh, your color bars. Now you see, I haven't actually made these buttons do anything yet. I'm just looking at the dynamic text that can be added in here. So I'll scroll past the 99 macros that we have available. And we can have uh, the name of a still image. So if you give your media pool files a, um, a good name that's going to be descriptive. You can actually just program your Stream Deck to show you the actual name. And no matter what, you can, um, well, let's search in here. ISO, we want to first set our media source, media player one, I'll set it to still one. 
And then I'll add another action to switch program to the media player. So now I have a button here that I really don't need to, uh, to change. If I press the button, it's gonna bring up the still that I have loaded in my media pool. But if I wanna change that, all I have to do is replace the file in the media pool with something with a good descriptive name and it's gonna update the name here. So I don't have to come back into Companion and change the name. And you can see you can add multiple actions under a one key press. So you don't have to set up uh, macros within your ATEM. You can do it right here. And on my Hyperdeck page, you can see here I have no actions. I'm just looking at my current time code and the current clip that is loaded. And I can uh, come down to my clip two with a play button. And you can see here I have clip with that variable to show me that it's clip two, and I actually do have it switching and playing, plays the hyperdeck and switches uh, to the input. So if I do that, and we were at the end of the, uh, the clip there, so it popped back over to clip one, which is uh, about three minutes of color bars. So let's go to the next clip. And there you go, you can see I have a pause. And I also have restart that uh, kicks it back to the beginning and then I can play the clip again. So, I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, quick little uh, overview of using uh, BitFocus Companion and your uh, Stream Deck with your ATEM Mini products and your HyperDeck and uh, your Raspberry Pi if you wanted to set that up. Uh, it can uh, also uh, do things like, uh, again, showing you a clock of your local device uh, so you just have everything right there at your fingertips um, when you're looking at your one uh, surface. So if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below if you have any questions. And uh, please hit the notification bell to be notified when I post future videos. See you in the next one.